Ocean Vast, but a Northeastern University professor showed me the technology that she says could be helping pinpoint the banging sounds that may be coming from that sub. So this is a 50 meter long section. Uh, we have five tables and we kind of loop it back and forth. More. Inside the laboratory for ocean acoustics and ecosystem sensing at Northeastern University, this horizontal array could be used to help find the missing submersible that disappeared while heading to the Titanic shipwreck. But the Northeastern researchers are in the middle of upgrading the array and time is not on their side. Sorry, it's a little bit of a mess. Max Rademacher is a PhD student working in the lab. If this were available, do you think it could help in the search? Yeah, we'd probably already be out there, to be honest. Purnima Ratila Makris is a professor of electrical and computer engineering who runs the lab. She says it's likely a horizontal array like this is being deployed in the search area. We can look all 360 degree directions, and if we find something interesting, we know what direction it's at. These are sounds from a humpback whale they recorded at the Great South Channel off the East Coast in 2021. The professor says the horizontal array can help confine the search area. If the banging is still going on and we, if we receive the signal, we are able to um, you know, pinpoint and say, yes, this is, sounds like banging and um, you know, it could be coming from the submersible. Then we could tell you which direction to go to. But in this race against time, there are no guarantees. But it is a very tough job, something that's lost at sea, it's hard, very hard to find. There are a lot of sounds in the ocean, but the professor says the technology allows them to focus in on certain sounds and eliminate others, which could be helpful in this search. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.